when it comes to buses, we are treating them a little bit differently. Sometimes DAWs will have different names. We want to add a new track here. And what we're going to add here is this. You have, you have choices mono versus stereo. A master fader. In some ways, people talk about this as their two mix two or their main fader however you want to think of it and you hit create so that's going to create that and there it is there's the master if you want to color code it again you could double click and choose what color you want that to be so creating group buses and a submaster mix bus before the master is a little different in here in terms of you cannot name things in the free version in pro tools first you may want to get out a pen and paper right now this is what we are going to do we're going to add some new tracks here so I'll start with a mix bus we're gonna add a stereo aux input that's how we add a bus here we'll call this the mix bus so we're gonna route all of our group buses down to the mix bus and we're gonna hit create so there's our mix bus now I do want to grab it and I want to go ahead and move it over before the master. If you right click on the mixer, you could show the ins and the outs, the inputs and the outputs, and that's very important to do. You can also add more sins and inserts if you want to view them as well as what instrument and so on is on there. For now, I just want to see the ins and outs. The input of the mix bus, that you have to give it an input so other things can actually input to it. So we're going to go down to bus and you choose what you have available and we're just going to choose one and two. What that means is this, that when you output your other instruments here, you would output the aux channels that we're going to create next to bus one and two. So let's just do a drum group now. So now that we've got our mix bus set up, you see the one and two right there. So now we're going to do a another one. This time we're going to do a drum bus is what we're going to call this one. And we do want it to be stereo. We do want it to be an aux input and we're going to say create. Now it does put it over here. So let me move it over in another window. I'm going to scoot it over. There we go. We want this to output to the mix bus, which is one and two. So the output of the drum bus goes to the input of the mix bus. What about the drum bus? And I, I recommend you do this very carefully. I'm going to choose, and this is where I might want to write things down. I want to have the input of the drum bus as three and four. That means over here, I want these drum channels to then go to the bus three and four. Go to the bus three and four. When I play, right there, let me solo these again, there we go, and solo this one here, and solo this one here, there we go, there. Now we're hearing the drums, we're not hearing the guitars even though they're playing. Why? Because the bus three and four is the group bus of the drum bus. So it can be a little confusing, I understand that. Over here of course are all your tracks you can keep track of. If you mess up and you need to delete one, you can go over here and right click and delete it and start over. I've created a drum bus, so you gotta keep track of your buses there. Again, it might help to have a pen and paper and write things down. I'm not going to create one for my bass since I have a single bass track, but but for the acoustic guitars, I want them to have their own group bus. So aux input, and I'm going to name this AC GTR bus, acoustic guitar bus. Now, there's my acoustic guitar bus. I want the bus to go to one and two. The, the acoustic guitar is going to need to feed into the mix bus. So the output goes to the input here. I need to choose a new bus for the acoustic guitar bus to so they can send to them so i'm going to choose five and six now i'm going to go over to my acoustic guitars here and i'm going to make sure they are going to five and six i know without the naming it makes it a little more difficult but this is how we did it in the old days too as i work my way through here i have to create more so let's do one for my specific mix i want to go ahead and make an aux input but this time it's going to be for electric EL actually, GTR bus. That's all I need there. Take a wild guess at, first of all, where's the output of this need to go? I want it to go to the mix bus, which is one and two. So bus one and two, which is active and yellow there. The input of this channel for stuff to come into it, I need to choose a new bus. Seven and eight is available. Now I'm gonna go to my guitar channels here. And I'm gonna make sure that they are outputting to seven and eight. And that's the bus that they are going to go to. You would do that same process then for the rest of your tracks and channels and so on. Now, since I left my bass on its own. I'm going to go ahead and have it go 
to bus one and two, which happens to be the mix bus. So I'm not going to give it its own bus since there's just one track. As far as everybody else here, and let me take some of my solos off of here, right? I still have more to do, and this is why I want you to be limited on your track number, because you only have so many buses available, as you can see right here, up to 24. Track new, so we call it an aux channel or an aux input, and some live mixing boards and stuff use aux channels just like this. I'm going to call this my Vox bus. This is going to be my lead vocal bus. And you guessed it, this lead vocal bus here is going to output to the bus one and two, which is the mix bus right here. The input, I got to choose a new internal bus here, nine and 10. And then I'm going to make sure that nine and 10 is outputting on my vocal channels. So that's group buses in Pro Tools first.